Although 2023's horror box office was dominated by the likes of Five Nights at Freddy's, The Nun 2 and Scream 6, the best franchise entry of the genre last year was a much belated reboot of a franchise so firmly rooted in the 2000s it's amazing there's already been two attempts in recent years. Saw X was a more than respectable success when it released in October 2023. Made on a $13 million budget, Kevin Grudert's movie netted $111 million box office gross worldwide. Adjusted for inflation, that's a far cry from the mid-2000s heyday, but a pretty great return for a series that felt tired in 2010. And given it not only had positive critical attention, but the first certified fresh score for the series on Rotten Tomatoes, something special was clearly afoot. Despite being an ardent Saw head who's seen the Saw movies in order multiple times, I missed the movie in theaters, but have now caught up as it's hit streaming. I knew the hype, but wasn't prepared for Saw X, a totally unexpected movie that shows there's life in the old buzzsaw yet. Saw X flips what it is to be a Saw movie. When it comes to any entry in the Saw franchise, there's several key tenets that the movies can be graded on. While often known for its gore, I, Saw was always offering more. There's the meaning behind the story, too, is this about the US medical insurance system, Saw 6, or a weird say 7 and riff, spiral, from the book of Saw? There's the inevitable twist, 3 how exciting and predictable is it? Then there's how the film connects to the wider universe, 4, an increasingly difficult USP given the main villain died in 2000 SIXS Saw 3. It's not that Saw X scores well on these metrics, the biggest knock, as you'll see, is that twist. It's that it over-indexes on story and lore, and a fifth, highly underappreciated factor, when those have taken a backseat in the past few entries. The story of Saw X follows John Kramer aka Jigsaw as he struggles with his impending death. In a final Hail Mary, he goes through an experimental cancer treatment in Mexico which ends up being a sophisticated con. Cue a series of kidnappings and a group trap for those who instigated the grift. On the surface, it's an exploitation revenge thriller. But the deep focus on Kramer's introspection in the first act pairs with the victim's tough decisions, along with a simmering question of what Jigsaw wants to get out of the game, makes for something with more to say about facing mortality. The lore.